So to create a container in Azure, once you get logged into the portal, you're going to select the create resource up the top left. And you can see right now I'm just in a resource group view looking at the Anthony containers resource group. So we're going to select create resource and container. And we're just going to go to the container instances. And this quick start link right here, this will run you through all the steps I'm doing right now as well. So container instance is what we're going to select here. We're going to give it a name. Uh, let's call it, let's call it text names container. I'm going to leave the image type as public so that we can actually access it. This is just a really basic hello world container. Essentially when we connect to it, we'll be able to see a little image. So we know that it's running. And then for the resource group, I'm just going to select my Anthony containers resource group and then location. I'm going to leave it the same location that my resource group is in. And then for the configuration, since this is just a simple demo, I'm going to leave the OS type as Linux. The number of cores is one, one, one and a half gigs of memory. Those are pretty bare bones, but we don't need a lot to just do some testing. I do want it publicly accessible, so I'm yeah I'm using a public IP address. And for the DNS name label, so this has to be unique in the region you're in. So just to make sure there wasn't another text tips container, I'm just gonna call it text tips container 007. Port 80, so you know the basic HTTP port. And since it's since, since HTTP is a TCP protocol, I'm gonna leave TCP selected. We're not gonna open additional ports. And then restart and just leave the standard restart of always policy, no environmental variables, no command overrides pretty basic here selecting a lot of the default values so i'm going to hit okay and so what we should see is we got a submitting deployment so if we click on this up here it'll take us right to the deployment status so, so this will actually update us in real time all right and once you succeeded you'll get this notification in the top right and also this deployment page where of course says your deployment is complete so i'm going to open up my resource group here and you can see we've got a container so if we click on this container, uh, here's where we can see that the status is running there. That's what we want. And then the FQDN, the fully qualified domain name, I'm just going to copy this. There's a public IP address. We could access it there as well, but let's go ahead and paste uh, that address in here. And what we should see is that container image. All right. And once we see uh, this image show up here, welcome to Azure Container Instances. We know the container is running. We know that it's publicly accessible. And of course we can, if we come back to the portal here, we can verify that by going to the settings container and we go down to the logs, make sure we have our container selected up above. Uh, we can actually see if we look in those logs, we can see those HTTP get requests from my browser. So that's how you create a basic container in Microsoft Azure using the portal. Thanks for watching.